enjoy our ride here. We try to give you a few little clips of coming from Columbus through Cincinnati. Where else did we come go through? Indiana. We went through Indiana. Like border of Indiana and Kentucky. Yes. Warrior Nation, how's it going? Hey y'all. So we have never been here before. Um we know it's a casino and a campground. That's all we know. So we're gonna check it out. Um, be sure to stay tuned because we're gonna um, show you guys just what we see. So we are at the Rising Star Casino and RV Resort. It looks like you come up here to the uh, Actually, the first thing is the casino itself. So the casino is there on your left, and the RV, the lodge, they have a Rising Star Lodge, which is for uh, more, I guess, uh, room rentals over here to your right. And then if you go farther back on your right is the RV park. So, if you're coming to just the casino, you would turn here and you will run right into the entryway of the casino. Good morning. Hey, everybody. What's going on, Warrior Nation? Alright, guys. We have made it through the night. I'm here at Rising Star RV park and casino um, yesterday was a bit much so we didn't do any footage but uh, today we are up and ready now we have started off today we wanted to go over and see what their complimentary breakfast looked like now although we always travel with lots of food we wanted to go check it out. It was free and it was compliments of the casino. So Vic is over here doing, getting you guys some drone footage. So he, he's focusing on that. <laughs> and the breakfast, well. Well, before we even talk about the breakfast, you know, we're gonna give you our honest opinion. That's true. About you know the casino about the campground so mm -hmm. just want you guys to know that yes so be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video because we're going to give you a tour um we're going to try to get some uh, some footage from the casino and um and yeah just kind of give you guys our honest opinion of this rv casino in uh where are we at in cincinnati kentucky indiana indiana and all this time i thought we was going to cincinnati but we're we're like right what right across the bridge or something right across the water yeah right across the water he says so um we wanted to check out um this type of camping it is definitely a difference from what we are used to and the different um campgrounds that we go to but I mean, it's okay. We are enjoying the experience. Um, and then we can kind of either add this one to our list or not add it to our list. So you guys stay tuned for that. Um, and we will let you know. So it uh, looks like today uh, it had been raining a little bit and um, it's starting to get a little humid. So I don't, today our Buckeyes play. Um, so we will be somewhere watching the Buckeyes at 7 o'clock and we gonna root our Buckeyes on and uh, Hopefully they take home the, or or keep the win because they they're playing are they playing at home? Mm -hmm. They're playing at home from my understanding. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do We haven't decided if we're gonna watch the game here or if we're gonna go over to the casino and watch the game um, but before that since it's early we're trying to get some things done. There was a couple things in the RV that I wanted to do. And since we're out here, 
uh, we don't have a lot to do, so that's what I'm getting ready to work on. While Vic works on the drone footage, um, I'm going to work on... Matter of fact, let me show you guys what we got just before we left, and I think it is awesome. So stay tuned, guys. All right, so these are the couple things that I'm going to do right quick. It's not really time-consuming, but... Um, I always like to kind of do something with the RV while we at a campground because you know you're not always doing something um, you're kind of just sitting out enjoying uh, the weather and um, just enjoying being out at the campground I mean we we actually love it so actually what we got look I'm always at Amazon and guys this is going to be in our store so if you are interested in this head over to the store the link will be in the description and you too can have one of these whether it's for the RV or in the house now since we've uh, just recently replaced our uh, shower door you guys know we talked about we like the black in the bathroom well I found one of these to go over the door Look at there. This will go over the door um, in the bathroom for our towels. Or you probably can hang your robe on here or your shirt. Or whatever you want. This got uh, two, four. It has five hooks on it. And um, it actually comes with the two hangers that hang from the door. And this is how it comes comes in these two pieces of plastic and you got your two um, deals here to hang over the door and I'm gonna put them on show you guys just how simple this is so you're gonna take one it's, it's two little hooks if you can see that there and that just basically goes in here and hook like that and the same for the other side go in there get in there and up and it holds so then you have this uh, uh oh you have this here to hang over your bathroom door for your towels and that's how it go so you hook that over and you got somewhere to put your towels and in our case it is black so we actually love it it came right before we left, and so I'm going to go in and put this over the door. Um, the other thing I'm working on this afternoon is these little light fixtures. Now, um, some of the RVs come with already already have lights in that pantry. Well, unfortunately, G and G did not have lights in the pantry, so I always find myself either with a flashlight trying to find something or um, turn on all the lights in the RV, just trying to see in the pantry. So I decided I was gonna order these little yeah, lights. I found them to be very helpful because they take uh, three AA batteries and if you, you see right there, there's a little button right there you can push. And it lights up. And you guys know that pantry isn't but so big. So what I'm gonna do is put one of these, I'm going to um, use the two-sided uh, Velcro and put on the back. And I'm going to put one on each shelf. So I think I have three shelves in there. So I have three of these. And basically, they'll stay up in there even during transition. These are really, really sturdy, so they won't go anywhere. So when you open the cabinet, you can just hit the button. And it lights up that shelf. So I think these are going to be handy. I'm actually going to go in and hang these. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So these are the two things I'm working on right there now. There is the drone. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm going to actually give you guys a little view of our site. We weren't the happiest campers with this site, but you know, once you get to a campground, you just gotta make do with what you got. 
first off, this gate right here is the exit gate. This is the exit gate for the entire campground. And uh, clear down there, all the way down is the casino. So we can actually walk to the casino. We can either ride our bikes. We haven't decided if that's what we're gonna do yet, but um, it is gated. You need a passcode to come in and it automatically lets you out on this end, which this is where our site happens to be. We didn't know that we were this close to the exit gate, <laughs> but we always like to pick an end site. So, and it's kind of in a neighborhood. If you see those houses over there, it's not like it's isolated or anything. Um, but for the most part, I didn't really hear this street. Um, it was pretty quiet overnight. Nothing kept me up, so it wasn't too bad. It wasn't hard to level. And it is a full hookup. So yeah, yeah. So I think we're gonna go over to the casino and hopefully we come back with some coins. <laughs> we have this gravel part here and then you had a concrete pad. All of the sites have concrete pads, which is awesome. And that's that so all right guys we will touch base with you shortly we're gonna get in here and get ready to figure out just what we're gonna do today so stay tuned guys all right guys i have the towel rack up um oh before i go in there i wanted to show you guys i have quite a few of you guys up where you guys travel right along with us so if you do not see your sticker, I'm gonna need you to get us a sticker and or we can swap stickers or and or magnets. Um, I have a few here and thank you guys for uh, uh, sending us these magnet uh, these uh, stickers. So just to let you know you are rolling with the real weekend warriors. And these are our magnets from the different places that we've uh, visited. Um, so yes, if I don't have your sticker, we don't have your sticker or your magnet, see to it that we get to swap with you guys. Cause we like to fill up not only this with the stickers, but this side here with stickers as well. So, but anyway, the towel rack is right here. Isn't that nice? I like it. It matches the ones we had up there before. Y'all, let me show y'all what we had before. <laughs> we had these. Uh, those. We had those, which of course do not match. And I'm all about matching. I at least try to anyway. If I can, we gonna match. But so yes, I like this a whole heck of a lot better. Um, as you can see, that works perfect. And it matches the decor. The other thing, guys, I got is this little heater. This little heater is in our store. It has an automatic shut off, which you can hear it. Um, it has a little button on the back to turn it on. And you hit that, turn it on for a few minutes before you jump in the shower. And this bathroom is toasty warm. So if you're in the market for a small heater, whether it's for the bathroom at home or in your RV, this it would be perfect I, I would definitely recommend this product because it works if it didn't work i wouldn't recommend it but this works 
and if you can hear it turns off if it if it tips over it turns off and once it's upright it comes on and it definitely warms this bathroom so there's that that's in our store the towel holder is in our store so go over and check out the store it has a lot of product in it that you may could use or just something you like um, go ahead and check it out oh the other thing I wanted to tell you is that towel uh, right holder comes with some 3m tape and screws if you want to put it you know somewhere other than the door and you want to make sure it's secure and don't move it do come with this so all right uh on to the next project all right guys so this is where i put those lights and excuse our kitchen i'm declutterizing is what i'm doing <laughs> But anyway, here's the lights, and I mounted them on the tops. One there, one there, and then one there. You know what? I probably need to put one down there too. I think I will. <laughs> I'm gonna put one right there too. Um, but yeah, so let's turn them on and, and see the difference in what you what you seeing. See how that lit up that shelf? And then the same for this one here. Lights up the shelves. And right there. So look at that. That lit up the whole pantry. I'm going to get one. See how that bottom shelf is dark? I'm going to get one to go underneath there too. So that's awesome. I like that. Because this our rig did not come with the automatic lights. Which... We're okay with that. That's no big deal. Uh, and then I don't think these little lights was very expensive at all. So Vic, what you think? Good job. <laughs> all right. So now let me put all this stuff back in there. Um, yeah. So yeah, you can light up your pantry even if it does not come with the automatic lights. I love it. Buckeyes play. The game has just started. He is getting us something to drink and we have ordered food. This is their pizza here at Rising Star. We have loaded potato wedges and Vic don't know. I'm over here looking at his food. Let me see what he got. Oh, Vic got the cheese steak and potatoes. And for dessert, guys, we have, let me see, let me see, let me see. We have a strawberry shortcake that looks delicious. I know I got to get my magnets. So that is a very nice magnet. And I also, while I was in there, I got a, a security box for credit cards, which this is supposed to secure your credit card so nobody can scan them by walking past you. So that's what I got. And we can ready to watch the game and eat us some good food. Y'all, I can't take Vic nowhere. Vic, show what you just did with the cake. Show him what you just did with the cake, Vic. I'll start on him. Whatever. I did not look at it. Look at the cake, y'all. Look, look. I'm gonna show you what I did. I flipped it upside down. Flipped it upside down. So y'all know what I said, Vic. That's yours. 
So anyway, we're going to check out this food. We're going to let y'all know how it is, and we'll be back. No. Vic, you're supposed to have been saving your strawberry shortcake. No, I said yes. No, you said you were saving your strawberry shortcake. It looked like it's gone. I didn't say it. <laughs> Was it good? All right, I can't wait to have mine. <sighs> All right, so Vic got me walking back from the casino. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> After we did not win, y'all, we coming back halftime from the Buckeye game. Uh-oh, we walking in water that we can't see. <laughs> Vic. Go across. Okay, it's down there. No, it's not. It's right. See the sidewalk right you I see that. Sidewalk. I see the sidewalk. Look, y'all, we didn't walk back from the casino. We took a ride over. And... Here we are. We now we going through the gate that everybody else ain't been through, right at our site. <laughs> there we go. So Vic, do the honors. Uh, you all can't even see me doing this stuff. Huh? They can't see me doing. Yes, they can. I can see you, and they can too. Thank you, dear. Ah. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're going to go on in here. We can't see, but we're getting ready to figure it out. Here come the taxi. Let's go. It's raining, y'all, so we taking a taxi. The richest club ever. Hi there. Hi there. How are you? Hello, Dan. I know, right? Across this, what is this called? The breeze, the bridge, breezeway, breezeway. We are. Oh, this is the boat we are on, guys. This is the Rising Star Casino Resort boat. So when we walked across that breezeway, this is what we're getting on, and they got it in an actual display here, which is very nice. 